getting on to. So, it should be like you're posted here and we walk by you and get on. What do you do in house fire? Uh, my main part is to help Drew with the website, get events together, help him get ready for things, just make sure everything runs smoothly and be a bouncing board for ideas. What do you think separates House Fire from being just another brand? I think we spend a lot of time and effort into actually making it something we're proud of and not just pushing out anything and everything we can. Drew puts a lot of time and effort in all his designs and takes a lot of energy searching for the right materials and making sure he gets exactly what he wants. If we can't get exactly what we want in the t-shirt or the hoodie, then we'll start from scratch and get something else. Train track man. So make sure of that. That'd be some shit. If I can see him try to charge us a toll. A troll under a bridge this close to Dark Horse House. There's a notebook. <laughs> you should probably read it. You should probably check out what they're trying to document over there. <laughs> down there with you? Oh, I don't care. I'm trying to go down there. What do you do for House Fire and how did you come to be a part of it? Uh, I met up with Drew uh, through mutual friends and uh, he was starting House Fire on his own and needed some help so I volunteered. Um, ever since then it's, it's been it. <laughs> uh, I document things that we do. I like to take pictures and keep people posted on uh, all the things we have up and coming. Um, bounce ideas off with the rest of the guys just on Drew's designs and what we're wanting to put out next and what we're wanting to do um, for the future. That's pretty much it. That's all you think about it. You just gotta do it. That's how I did it. There we go. The benefit of the short legs when you pull them up. Yeah, you ain't got much to You ain't got much to, yeah, there's nothing to hit the ground. Cody got one hand on He's getting himself in <laughs> What brought you into this lifestyle? I went to college for a while while I was for high school and I moved to Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, to go to college and I went, dropped out twice actually. Um, and then I guess I was in my mid 20s um, and I started painting. And when I started painting, I never stopped. Like it kind of just took over my life. Like, the only thing I wanted to do was do art. And it was like those things that keep you up at night and your mind's wondering 
one thing I really thought about was like the next thing I could create or paint or whatever. Uh, while all that was happening, uh, I'd always kind of had a uh, flair for uh, fashion or streetwear, and we decided to start putting art that I was doing on clothing. And while all that was happening, I was also uh, become really good friends with Justin and Garen. Um, when I kind of came up with this idea for House Fire, they came to me and was like, hey, we want in. And at first I was like, you want in on this thing that really doesn't really exist much, but they were like, you know, we like your ideas, and I think we're in, we're in the same, uh, our minds are going to the same place. So we linked up, and um, we all kind of bring something different to the table, and we're all... Um, While we're all bringing different stuff to the table, we're all still somewhat connected to each other, uh, in the sense of like we the things that we agree on is that uh, house fire is just an umbrella term for us. Uh, that it's something that we can literally throw anything we want to. If we want to write a book, we can throw it under house fire. If we want to paint a mural, we can throw it under house fire. If we want to create clothing, or we want to create art, or we want to write an album, we can throw all that under house fire, and it was. Uh, that was one thing that we constantly agreed on. The other thing that we really agreed on was that everything we push out is of the highest quality that we can do. Um, so we put our time into um, finding raw materials, finding uh, the right people to work with, as opposed to just um, trying to push things out as fast and be as lucrative as possible. Because all in all, it's not. It's more about um, what we can create as opposed to what we can make. Uh, money-wise. It was always about um, what's the next big thing that we can do or what can uh, our minds expand to as opposed to um, what can make money or what can be lucrative.